punishes me when I break the rules. Ooh. Love don't judge. How bad though? This is Brandy. She fell in love with Lazarus. We have been together for 15 years. His name what would be Lazarus, Lazarus too. What is that beard? What is that beard, bro? You got the 90 degree angle. What? What the fuck is that? What the f We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly years. <laughs> what daddy says goes. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, all right. We're tapping into a different. Oh, no, this one she might need to run. Hey, yo, this is funny as fuck. Yeah. Domestic yeah. discipline with a spoon. The selection of spoons for different <laughs> occasions. Your hand, that's not true. And their choice of lifestyle. She's taller than us. People riled up. People can say, oh, you're abusing your wife. I'm calling the cops. We get a lot of, the woman is Not the bedroom. Boss. Whoa. Dude, her tattoos are terrible. <laughs> Sorry. I love everything about my wife. He is very, very loving. Like, he's Good. sensitive. Look at him. They're love. Loving feelings aside, this pair have a set of strict rules that govern their day-to-day -day relationship. We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly 10 years. A domestic discipline relationship is a dynamic between two consenting adults where you have a dominant and a submissive. The dominant is usually referred to as the HOH, which is head of household. The submissive is referred to as His a face. sub or a TIH, which means taken in hand. The dominant sets rules and expectations for the submissive to live by, and there are consequences for not following the rules or not meeting those expectations. The four Ds are danger, disobedience, disrespect, and dishonesty. 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 Get it right. On consequences <laughs> they got on the walls. The four it could be from spanking or writing lines, corner time, or just corner a time stand lecture. <laughs> what do you I'm about to sit down and lecture you. Broke. They all suck. I bet. <laughs> so I asked her to write a line stating that being submissive is important. <gasps> he got her doing homework. He got her doing homework. Okay, see, I would say this one is worse than the other one because she actually has her do some mundane, out of the box things. Do your homework assignments. <laughs> Off their chemistry. She doesn't seem like she's in a upset about this. But then is that what we're gonna call me out saying? No, he's manipulating her. He's manipulated yeah, yeah. her to think that this is okay. What is she not a adult? What adults can't make their own decisions? And it's like, okay, yeah, people live by religions and certain guys guidelines and things. This is just their lifestyle. This is their thing they follow. Yeah, they have their own rules. This is their own rules and you- Yeah, they're not what we would want to do, but it works for them. And he sets the rules. They agreed that he's HOH. He's the head of household. Y'all seem to- She said, okay, I'll be the sub and you'll be the dumb. It's very important. It's a unique quality to have. I will be submissive at all times to my HOH. And I had to write 10 pages worth. Damn! Okay, 10 pages is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You ain't gotta do 10, brah. It's, I guess, just like any other consequence, it's not fun. <laughs> It's tedious and it sucks, Holy but shit. that's about it. That's crazy. Holy shit. That's wild. Yeah, that's okay. That's crazy. And if I don't, punishment time? You get the point after half a page almost. One page. Yeah, pa uh, yeah one page max. <laughs> I'm going with a paragraph. <laughs> Works cited, MLA format. This have it in by midnight. And she's using the pen too. Damn, man. She this is what I would say that there might be some sort of <laughs> problems that could occur in the future. Let me play devil's advocate. What about school assignments? You get an essay assignment, 10 pages about some bullshit. Your professor from college says, you need to write a 10 page paper that you made a decision to go to. You wouldn't call the professor a monster. Well, cause you need that to get the degree because you need that. But it's like, well, <sighs> do you, you don't need anything. You're just trying to get the degree. Yeah, but... yeah, that's true. But you need the degree, right? If you want to do that route of, I want to work for somebody based off of this thing. Do you need to write 10 pages here? She feels like she does though, because she... she's in the school that he's the teacher. Mm -hmm. So she feels like she has to. Yeah, it's almost like that environment. It's a college environment and he's the dean. But the difference is like, they're in love though. So then it's like, yeah. I wouldn't make my girl 10 pages now. But 10 pages is, come on, man. I'll be waiting crazy. in the living room. Give me a sandwich after you do that. That's crazy. <laughs> you just downstairs. <laughs> look, at, look at her with the one light on the thing and then in the sad, dark room. In addition to set punishments for Brandy's rule breaking, there's also set tasks regarding that? the division of labor. Like a hell of snack. Okay. Daily household chores would be dishes, cleaning the kitchen, doing the floors, double checking the bathroom. Why y'all got so much? Don't need to be deep cleaned. 
They're stocked up for the next yeah, year. Couponing. Damn. Oh, yeah, they're stocked up. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Whoa. Those are fucking tie pods. <laughs> those are expensive. Are they in a bunker? He does the grilling. You might be surprised to learn that the idea for this relationship structure. See, he does the grilling. He's cooking. Oh, he does the okay. weed. Okay. And that's Brown, hard work, bro. First brown DD. Felt kind of awkward. I didn't really understand why. I kept getting a book recommendation for a book called Spank Your Spouse, Avoid Divorce. A lot of it surprisingly made sense. Spank Your Spouse, Avoid Divorce. Divorce. You know, it's, it's just the mind, mind thing on that part where it feels awkward, but looking into it, um, I understood why. So it was her idea. Interesting. It's her idea. Yeah, it was her idea. Left. Why do you guys consider this not abusive? Like consent. Oh, uh, one because it's consensual. I don't think people consent to being abused. Um, two, it was my idea, and I had to convince. You him can't to say do anything it. Yet, right now. No. It's her idea. Long-lasting damage. Bet the you're not gonna come for her now in the comments. Mm -hmm. What Daddy way. says goes. Okay, she came up with this. She wrote it on the pill. Are different because in BDSM there's an enjoyment factor. Either you enjoy getting spanked or you enjoy And he's the, choosing somebody. to stay. So there's, I don't, I don't see the issue. Spanked. She told, she assigned him he to be the head of the household. It. He's perpetrating really this. Like, oh, excuse me, she's perpetrating it. It doesn't yeah. bother me that he doesn't get the same consequences that I do because our situations are different and she our made them up. are different and it wouldn't work. No, she printed them out. They yeah, know the that they will get judged yeah. for what I need they do. 10 paragraphs while you got that. <laughs> I need 10 they they pages on who your tattoo artist is. Say, oh, you're abusing your wife. Yeah, that one's a what? bit wonky. I need the tattoo artist that. to give me 10 <laughs> pages. <laughs> Stop saying hell. Our kids pretty much know everything about domestic discipline. Our kids know pretty much all the ins and outs of it. Are you still reading? Yeah. Yeah. Is there even questions? And the camera's not way fucked this. I'm 13 years old. I understand quite a bit about domestic discipline. I mean, there may be some things that people find iffy with the rules and how they have set, but I don't think anything is too uh, crazy. Very well spoken. Mm -hmm. aware of I felt the same way about it. A choice and they know it's not something that they need to do unless they just decide is what they want to do. I would not have a similar relationship to my parents as I just don't believe it would suit the type of person that I am. Okay. It's not for well, sure take on it. That is true. I think the ends justify the means because we're happier than we have ever been. We get along it better good than atmosphere than household most for the most part. Yeah, the kids seem fine. Does it seem like a heavy abusive thing? thing? I'm not really. You'd be the kids seem smart, how fine, sharp. Live this way. The kids are being raised very well. Wow. Yeah. And the, and the it, woman it, it says... It's her idea. It's a, her idea. You know what the comments are before we even look at them? This woman's brainwashed. She's a victim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's being abused. That. Even though she's the one perpetuating, inventing all of this, yet they're still going to label the man as the abuser just because, well, just stick it to the man because men are evil. When she said that she had to convince him to do it. The 13-year-old child is extremely intelligent, both intellectually and emotionally. It's saddening she has to be around this. But... The fact that she can distance and understand it's not for her at 13 is astonishing. I don't think they watch the full video. He has to be around it, not her. <laughs> I cannot believe they do this around their child and have those rules on the wall. You cannot convince me this is okay. I feel like they shouldn't have been so open about it with their kids and the place all... And then place it all over the house. Over the house. The son could get confused and see it as a norm and could possibly be abusive one day. <laughs> Son could be abusive. I can see why people can think that. Because when you're younger, you do have a more malleable brain. So it's like, Unless what will that do? What kind of like are thought they, will that trigger? Are they seeing that? Are they reading the paddles? Okay, let's assume. Let's assume the young boy is watching this. He sees the rules on the wall. He sees the paddle. And let's see, he gets older. He meets a girl. And he goes, give me 10 pages. <laughs> A girl's gonna be like, fuck no one, yeah, walk exactly. out. He wouldn't even be able to do that. Yeah, and the older sibling was smart enough to realize that she didn't want to do that. So when he's older, you can guess that he'll be able to differentiate and decide what whatever he wants to do. As a kid, I witnessed my uncle beat my aunt with a belt like she was a child. It was traumatizing and I will never forget it. I told my father about it and being a martial artist, he taught me some real life defense moves. His words were, don't ever let a man mistreat in any way. If he does, lay his ass out. And that I did do. Sorry, playing games like this can cause someone to seriously get hurt, but to each his own. That doesn't seem like it conflates to this at all. Yeah, what? I would suggest 
run. Don't try to fight someone. If your dad was a true martial artist, they would know that you want to do everything you can to avoid having to mm -hmm. like be violent with somebody. I ain't gonna be trying to square up and yeah, let's fucking tussle in the back of the Arby's. Unless we, it was an in the moment thing. If he put his hands on her and then it's like, at least she knew her moves to do what she had to do. But I'm not gonna go toe to toe with some person that's bigger than me and stronger than me. Like I'm gonna risk getting hurt myself. The entire situation is demeaning, disgusting, disturbing. The saddest thing of all is that she chose this lifestyle and that's eye-opening indeed. And she chose. This is her choice. You can't really get mad at somebody for choosing something that you don't like. Can you get mad at someone for doing something in the privacy of their own house? Can you get mad at somebody for doing something that they want to do? <laughs> but I get, but now it's just situation well, different because you have children involved. Are they always doing their little flip slaps, consensual abuse? Even if the kids hear them screaming in the room, is that still going to affect the like, All right, kids, it's reading time. Read for 30 minutes. I would just hope they do everything outside of the children ever seeing that then I guess or hearing it. Yeah. I'm a firm advocate for leave the kids alone. Yeah. <laughs> leave the kids out of the, the, the shit you want to do as an adult with your fetishes and your shit. Leave the kids out of it. Cause like, yeah, I agree with that. I wouldn't want to hear my dad hurting my mom in a room every night. Yeah. If, the, if that was the case, yeah. I never saw it. Even if it's their rules and they agree to it. Do I get that? Yeah. Do it's I like, get that as a kid? Don't no. interview me about what my parents are doing. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm already a kid. It's like, I'm probably not gonna like this when I'm older. With the anyway. dog, so how do you feel about it? What? Okay, so your mom's writing paragraphs. Okay, that was crazy. But she chose to do that. Is it a mental illness like that? She wants that. Some people are extremely submissive. Bro, just leave the kids alone. Cause yeah, it's not like it's just them alone in the house doing this. They do have children to look after. Just, just make sure the children. And it's not like they're pushing it onto their children either. They didn't say that they're doing that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you need to do it too. Cause people do that to kids too. They have their ideals and they try to indoctrinate their children, mm. that's when it gets mm -hmm. real fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. I think if they could do this privately without mm -hmm. the kids seeing, hearing it, yeah. that would be the most best. That's way to go about it, yeah. Well, I got 10 pages to work on. Yeah. Shit. See ya.